yeah, so this is Epic. The Epic program. And if you were watching one of my previous lives, I did a live about the best um, government-funded uh, English teaching programs. And um, South Korea, no, sorry, the Epic program was on the list. So that would be similar information if you watched that before, but just a refresher then. So EPIC stands for, stands for English Program in Korea. It is run by the South Korean government, and it is a program that places foreign teachers into schools across the country to work as English language instructors. What's great about the EPIC program is it's super, it's great for first time teachers to Korea or abroad in general. It um, offers competitive salaries and extra benefits, like I mentioned. And it basically offers the chance to live and work in a unique cultural environment in East Asia. That's what they advertise um, their program with. And um, yeah, for details, you can check out epic.go.kr. They are hiring. They're always hiring. Um, so there's like two hiring seasons. One is for February, March. For the, That's when the school year starts in South Korea in March. So they hire February, March, and then another one, the second um, semester is August, September. So that's when they hire the second time. But um, you need to fill out your application, like I think six months in advance. So um, yeah, you need to be early with that. Uh, <clears throat> also, the requirements are you need to be a citizen of a country where English is the primary language. So the countries that I mentioned before. Um, you also must have studied from at least a junior high level, seventh grade, and graduated from a university in one of the seven designed countries. So Australia, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, United Kingdom, United States, or South Africa. However, and this is a little loophole here, Indian citizens are eligible for positions if they meet all other requirements and hold a teacher's license in English. Because I get this asked a lot. A lot of Indian um, people from India approach me. They really want to come to Korea. And so this is a great opportunity for those wanting to come to Korea. If you meet all the requirements, plus you have a teacher's license in English, you qualify. You're eligible for the EPIC program. So I think that's a really good, um, good way also to get to Korea. Mm. Then there's also a, uh, for all the other citizens, um, there is a working holiday visa for Korea. It's uh, only for 12 months, but it can be extended. And you can actually check that out if you look for working holiday visa Korea. A lot of people from many, many different countries are eligible. They do have, some countries have quotas that, you know, only, I think for some countries, it's like 100 people, 200 people from that specific country can receive that visa. But many, many countries have unlimited quotas. So um, check that out and maybe you'll be eligible. And this is basically allowing you to work and live in South Korea. And then while you're here, you can explore some other visa options because there's a ton of options. Um, Korea is really pushing for their you know, getting international talents to Korea. So they have a lot of different visa options. And um, so don't be discouraged. So maybe you need to go through a different way into Korea, <laughs> not the straight teaching English in Korea way, but maybe some, you know, turns here and there, uh, depending on where you're from. But don't be discouraged. There are a lot of options, the visas. There are a lot of different visas visas available. So um, there's a lot of options for everybody. But yeah, back to EPIC. You also need to hold a minimum of a bachelor's degree. So it's the same uh, thing from before. You need to have a bachelor's degree, um, a four-year degree. And it doesn't, have, doesn't matter which major. But what's interesting, if you have... Uh, associate's degree, so two years, a two-year degree, you can apply for the TOC program, which is pretty much the same thing as EPIC, but for people with um, an associate's degree, and usually younger people. So the TOC program is also a teaching program that places you into schools in South Korea. 
And for the EPIC program, you also need to have a TEFL or a TESOL of at least 100 hours. So that's the difference. If you want to go through the EPIC program, you need to have a TEFL certificate. Unless you have majored um, in TESOL or you have a teaching license and stuff like that. So, but other than that, you need to have a TEFL or TESOL. And again, just a reminder, <laughs> let me show you the banner. Uh, here, special offer at the end of the session, 30% off for all TEFL or, TEFL or TESOL courses from ITTT. Um, you know, just wait a minute and then I'll share that link um, so that you can get TEFL or TESOL certified as well. Okay, <laughs> I think there's one more slide about EPIC, um, about, yeah, the salary and additional info. It's pretty similar to what I said before, but this is only EPIC. So they have like this level system. So depending on your experience and qualifications, you will earn more or less. And also it depends on, as you can see here, what region you work in. So actually, uh, other provinces, so basically the, um, I guess, not so popular places outside of Seoul and Busan uh, pay the most. So yeah, if you might end up working for like a rural school in like a small town, but you, you earn the most money. But even like my city, is, cons is actually in this uh, category, but it's still a pretty big city. It's almost a million people here. Big city, you know, uh, there's a downtown, there's a shopping mall, like there's everything here. So like, don't think it's like in the boonies, it's not. Um, but that's usually what people think, like people in Seoul or from Seoul, they think everything outside of Seoul is countryside, but it's not. <laughs> Just want to put that out there, it's not. <laughs> but yeah. Um, then the benefits are pretty much the same as I said before. So you get a, um, a fully furnished accommodation, an apartment, you get paid airfare in and out of the country. You also, and this is different, that's unique for the EPIC program, you get a 300,000 Korean one settlement allowance. So sort of like to get you started with your life in Korea, if you have to buy some stuff uh, for your kitchen or like, you know, some anything for your house, food that will get you through like the first month until your first paycheck. So 300,000 won is about like $300, a little bit less than $300, but yeah. You also get 18 days paid leave plus all national holidays. So like I said before, typically for um, pop, uh, private schools, you get 10 vacation days and in the Epic program, you get 18. So that's a big difference. Um, yeah. And then you also get one month salary bonus on completion of contract. That's the same with um, private schools as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and here's some information about applying. But yeah, go to the official website, epic. What was it? Go.kr. Let's go back. What was the website? Um, yeah, epic.go.kr. So head there and there's all the info, how to apply, when to apply, all the forms, everything you need in one place. And you can also reach out to them directly. Um, I'm not from Epic, so all of this is all the information here I have from my own research. Um, of course, things might change, might be different on the actual website. So just to know. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.